The Inspector General of the Intelligence Community met with lawmakers and staff behind closed doors Friday. Following the meeting, Republicans like Utah's Chris Stewart say too much is being made of a phone call in which President Trump asked the president of Ukraine for a favor. This comes down to one thing. It comes down to one sentence in one phone call. President Trump continues to defend his invitation for foreign countries to investigate the Bidens. We're investigating corruption. We're not investigating campaigns. Late on Thursday, House Democrats released a series of text messages they say prove President Trump was trying to pressure Ukraine to interfere in the U.S. elections. In one exchange, former ambassador to Ukraine William Taylor says, I think it's crazy to withhold security assistance for help with a political campaign. Then Gordon Sunland, the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, responds, Bill, I believe you are incorrect about the president's intentions. The president has been crystal clear. No quid pro quos of any kind. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, criticizes the president's invitation for China and Ukraine to investigate the Bidens. It endangers our elections. It endangers our national security. It ought to be condemned by every member of this body. On Twitter, Republican Utah Senator Mitt Romney agreed, saying, by all appearances, the president's brazen and unprecedented appeal to China and to Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden is wrong and appalling. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.